How were the planets like 3.8 billion years ago? We all know that our solar system came into existence 4.6 billion years ago. But how did the planets look like 3.8 billion years ago? Did these planets exist in the same way, or were they completely different? In this video, we will try to look at how these planets were some 3.8 billion years ago. Before we continue, I will request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. But why go back only 3.8 billion years? The reason is that this was the period when the solar system entered the phase known as the Late Heavy Bombardment Period, in which there were a relatively large number of asteroid impacts with planets and celestial objects. Let's start off with the gas planets. The reason for starting off with them is that they did not change much, because even with asteroid impacts, the outer appearance of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune remained the same. Some scientists are of the view that there might be some change of coloration in the colors of Jupiter and Saturn with absorption of new minerals. This deduction was made after the comet Shoemaker struck Jupiter in 1993. Due to the impact, a powerful dark vortex was created on the surface of the planet, which changed the composition of its clouds. But beyond these ordinary changes, we do not think if there have been major changes. One major area of change might be the number of moons since in the past. The gas planets did not have many moons. This is the case of Neptune and its largest moon, which was captured by the icy giant. Things looked very different with Mercury, which looked like a fire pit 3.8 billion years ago. Mercury was exposed to numerous meteorite impacts, ranging from a few meters to a thousand of kilometers. Some of the craters caused by the meteorites are relatively recent, while some of them are a few million years old. During this time of asteroid collisions, Mercury itself was very volcanically active. The lava flowing from the basins led to smoother planes on Mercury, which have been detected by the messenger probes. The younger planes have less craters and were formed when lava flowed earlier through the regions. The folds formed the lava compressions and deformation were also affected by the tidal force of the Sun. The effects of the tides of the Sun on Mercury is 17% more than that of the Moon on Earth. Combined with the collisions of asteroids, there may have been many craters on Mercury's surface, which is evidence of the violent history of the planet. Let's talk about Venus, the sister planet of Earth, which also happens to be the hottest planet in our solar system. Venus has a sulfuric acid atmosphere combined with carbon dioxide, which gives it a temperature of 480 degrees Celsius. Astronomers estimate that billions of years ago, Venus was very similar to Earth, but like other planets, it was subjected to many meteorite and asteroid impacts as well. Comets are huge bodies containing ice and water, and when they collide with a planet, its ice turns into liquid due to the heat released in the collision. There is a chance that this water could in fact become a water body, an ocean or a lake, if the planet has an atmosphere and a gravity. Scientists estimate that in this time, the temperature of Venus was used to be more palatable to life, since it was nearly 50 degrees Celsius. This means that back when Venus might have oceans full of water, along with conditions that were congenial to life. For at least 300 million years, Venus was able to retain water deposited by comets. But this time, something happened, and then the entire atmosphere experienced a greenhouse effect, which led to a rise in the temperature. The Earth may have had a different history some 3.8 billion years ago. It was not the hospitable blue planet which we are used to seeing today. In fact, the planet looked really different all those years ago. One major difference was the magnitude of the seismic activity which took place. This led to more earthquakes throughout the planet. There were more volcanoes and a higher concentration of greenhouse gas in the Earth's environment. Due to certain microbial organisms, carbon dioxide was transported into oxygen, so this much is clear. The Earth was not as hospitable 3.8 billion years ago as it is today. Mars also resembled the Earth and was struck with many comets. Due to these collisions, Mars had a denser environment than it has today. It also has oceans, lakes, and other conditions which could support life. Probes have discovered traces of water paths on the surface of the planet, and also discovered water mixed with clay and other rocks. Some astronomers even think that life found its way to Earth through an asteroid which originated from Mars. Mars could be the first planet to harbor life because its life-supporting resources were more abundant to those present on Earth. However, this advantage was countered by its small core, which cooled significantly quickly, which caused the loss of magnetic fields surrounding Mars. After the magnetic field died down, Mars had no means of protection against solar radiation. Gradually, the decreasing atmospheric pressure led to increasing evaporation of water and left it to dry completely. This means that plants were very different 3.8 billion years ago than they are today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel.
Thank you.